Hi everyone, this is Vicki Crystalline. Well, a lot of people have been asking me a lot of questions and in the healings that I've been doing on Facebook, um, I haven't been getting these questions until people have been listening to my video later on. So, instead of doing it individually, I'm just going to do it all in one for right now, for the questions that have came forward for right now. So, if everybody can just breathe into the heart and breathe into this frequency. Take breaths, your own breaths. Breathe into your own experience. Feel your heart plug in. Feel your energy settle. <sighs> Just feel comfortable where you're at right now. <sighs> so. First and forward, I want to thank everybody that has newly came into my life, all the healings that have came into my life, all the people that have came into my life. Thank you and all the people that have been with me through this whole journey. Thank you. Because I couldn't do it by myself. I have completely, truly awoken to the authentic me right now who's sitting in front of you because of all of you. For me, doing me helps me, helps you. So we're all doing our particular parts. So... One of the questions that people ask me is, why do I do this? Why do I do this movement with my hands? And um, I'm going to balance more because I feel like a twinge in my back. So clear if you feel any heaviness on your back and ask that to be balanced. Feel your energetic system. Yeah, balance. Balance it and clear anything that's trying to attach itself there and ignite your wings. Ignite your wings. Yeah. Your wings are part of you, if you believe it or not. They're really there. So, your wings will really help you. So, wow, I just noticed something. When I do this, I don't feel my wings so much. And then when I let go and I ignited my wings, I still, I feel the same frequency as when I do this going through my body, in my wings. Wow. I just noticed that. Wow. And so, when I do this with my wings ignited, it feels really powerful. It feels like everything's getting tiny, entwined, in perfect balance. So why do I do this? When I do this, what it's telling my body is everything is tuned in, turned on, tapped in. I am completely in tune with my body. I am in completely in tune with myself. As soon as I make these movements, it is telling my body that I am wanting to be in tune and I am in tune. And that's what's happening. And you can feel this in your heart. So whenever I speak words, always go past the words and feel the frequency. So if you just fill in, do the movement of your hands and feel some people, it ignites them. When I do light language, light language, when I do this, there are meridian codes in your hands. So when I place out, I can feel energy leave my hands. But I can feel energy also coming back in. So when I make movements like this, I can feel the energy that is going out for whatever is service, and I can feel the energy coming back into my hands, in both hands. It's not that I'm receiving one hand and giving one. I can feel a receiving in both and a giving in both, like complete balance. So, yeah, I feel that. And I also feel this too with my feet. I feel my feet has the same. So, uh, when you put your feet on dirt, wow, I got dry mouth right now. The energies are powerful. And we're in the 11-11 portal, so perfect union of all. So, uh, where was I at? <sighs> wow. So in your feet, you can put your feet on dirt, and you can feel the energy leave and the energy come. You can feel heat tingling. You can feel Mother, Ga Mother Gaia pulsating in your feet. You can feel the uh, energy coming up your legs. 
and when you add water to it and you're really concentrated with your feet on, on dirt, um, you can really feel the balance going on in your physical frame. It is absolute. And if you don't feel nothing, in time you will feel something. So, also too, um, when you're going into a state like that, get out of the way. Don't say, okay, I want to feel something. I want to feel something. You're not going to feel nothing that way because you're trying to make it happen. The thing is, you got to get out of yourself. You got to get out of your way. So how do you do that? You take breath and then let go into like a state of a stare. You can barely just gently open your eyes, just like a gently stare and just focus on your breath. Or you can go into a meditative state, which I do now. Close your eyes and just focus on the breath. Or if the mind is running too much, you can start counting. One, two, three. And then as soon as you the mind clicks back in, you start over again. And when you do this, you will notice the numbers will get will get higher. Because each time that you're aware, it knows it. It knows that you're not paying attention to its awareness. It's you're paying attention to something else. So keep doing that. Every time you uh, thought drops in when you're in a meditation, start over again. Watch the numbers grow. They'll grow really rapidly too. That's how I did it. So yeah. And with light language, a lot of people ask, what is light language? <coughs> the easiest way that I can describe light language is we are all multidimensional beings. We are playing on many multidimensional verses, many multidimensional realms. When you allow yourself to become a blended being, you become all part of your multiverse. It is becoming a part of you. Well, as you allow this to happen, certain things start coming up. Well, you start having codings and decodings, and then you start becoming your authentic self, which is ancientness. I'm an ancient soulness, an ancient energy. I have lived many, 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 many lifetimes. Many lifetimes. I've done this and done this. I awakened through many of my lifetimes. Many of my lifetimes, I have died at the age of 17 as of service to the light. They showed me in through, um, when we went through the, uh, uh, why are they taking it now from me? It was right there. Wow. When the, when this, when the earth plane was sick. Wow. Yeah. And there's a dark cast above it. Famine was very rapid of the world. People were dying from disease rapidly. And I came in and I shared my light many times past at the age of 17. And the amazing thing is that my sister passed at the age of 17, this time in my physical life. And I got to be very... I want to be very aware that I feel that me and my sister traded for that this lifetime. I feel that. Like she brought forward what needed to be brought forward this time instead of me. So perfect. So and I honor her that and I am thankful for that. And I have done a lot of healing in that and I just feel the guidance of her always. So she's guiding me where it's always been or usually been me guiding her. So in this um, awakening, light language, when it was shown to me, Ariane, who I channel, showed me that different light codes open up your DNA and then sit, things start surfacing the more you work with them. The more you let go, then they can start coming alive, start flowering alive. So what happened is Ariane came through first. Ariane came through and how that happened is he didn't come with the name. It was just a frequency. I just started talking and I was like, is this my higher self? It never felt like this. It was a different energy than I had felt in my higher self. And I had went through channeling classes for two years and I had channeled many beings, but never this energy. So I was like, is this my higher self? Is this my higher self? And this probably went on for like, I don't know, maybe two months. 
Well, me being human and at that time in my place, I wanted a name. So I asked him for a name. As soon as I asked him for a name, I got a text. And when I got that text, um, it said, Arion. And Phyllis, you can fill it out your hands, out your arms while I fill it through my cornice. I was blown away. Because the person who texted me hasn't texted me in a long time. So I text her and I said, did you text me? And she goes, no, it's nice to hear from you, but no, I didn't text you. And she goes, I haven't texted you in a long time. And then I knew the name Arion. And then I came later to know as talking to Arion because air is on. That's our breath of life. When our air is on, it's our breath of life. No attachments. But can you feel the freedom in that? So. As I allowed Arion to come through me, he transformed me. I started trusting. I started believing because he was showing me. Through that, um, then the light language started coming out of me. It just started. I just started speaking. I didn't even know what it was. At first, I thought it was sound language because it sounded more like sound language. And I noticed my hands move, like not me moving them, like something. Like when I do uh, light language, not so much anymore, but... I could, it, but sometimes a lot, I could feel other hands upon my hands and they're moving my hands in a particular way, allowing the codes to happen. But because I know the codes, so in a particular way now, unless there's new codes, I usually don't feel the hands above my hands. So with that, um, when then I was shown later on, actually this year, I was shown as you're going through different dimensions, um, your body starts resonating with the different aspects of you, of your beingness. Well, light language is a code changer of your DNA. There is no, a lot of people try to figure out what it means. A lot of people try to, to put words to it. But to me, whenever they say that or they're trying to do it, I've read books on it and they're trying to make it more humanized. It feels limiting to me, like they're limiting it in a way. So maybe that's perfect for them. That's perfect. But for me, it does not. I don't want to figure it out because I feel it fuller and fuller. I just feel it as its authentic self within my heart when I allow it to come through. And it's a fullness throughout my whole body. So it drops past the chaotic mind because your mind don't know what it is. So it drops past the chaotic mind, drops into your soul and your heart. And then whatever is taking place needs to take place, takes place. So Arion came forward and then that's what he brought to me. And then Arion has, um, has taken me completely in a higher dimension of me because it's hard to believe that that this is real stuff until you allow yourself to be a part of them and what I mean by that is when they come into me I always feel them I always feel them and then when they leave me I feel not like a residue but like a residue of light like their placement here and so it's just very powerful as of talking to Arion now for almost four years, as of channeling light of uh, light language for almost three years now, um, what it has taught me is each and every ability we have is showing you where your involvement is in your DNA. So if you're doing light language and it's just coming out of you and you're not forcing it, that's what your DNA, which is at the ninth dimension. And channeling, I would say like fifth and sixth dimension. And but my channeling, because it, this is how Arion came through. He came through, he came through as an energy. And the only word that it would ever come through, because he would come through clearly and talk to me. But the only word he would ever bring when I would ask him what a name was, what he would say from beyond. Or he would say beyond. And then I would say, um, beyond me. And he would say, just beyond. And then I would say, my higher self. And he would say, beyond. And then I was like, okay. So I let that go and let that go and let that go. And then I realized 
once I allow Arion to completely drop into me, it was beyond the 12th dimension that we had placed ourselves here and up here into the two universes which has created this universe that we're all in, the one that we see. And it was created, what I have learned, it has created for growth. You know, for all of it is for growth and to grow and expand. And so, and it's always been there. It's always been there. It never has not been there. So I allow Arion, who is a collective of 12. And what I mean, how Arion has explained it to me. I was going to ask him to come forward, but he, he, I feel like right now he's like, you got this girl. He goes, you got this because we've worked enough together. Um, Arion, <laughs> it just makes me want to laugh. Completely makes me want to laugh. Thank you, Arion. Thank you, Arion. Thank you, Arion. Okay. What happens is, Arion is a collective of many different beings, many different beings of 12 dimensions. So they scatter throughout the dimensions and do whatever they need to do, pieces of me. And then when I call them forward, they intertwine into the Arion that speaks before you. So when we call upon him, then all of these frequencies come together to recreate the collective of our future, they are our future, to come together so that we can receive the information that we need to receive then and now. So, um, and Arion has shown me that, uh, I mean, he's here in an instant when I want to talk to him. I, can, I don't have to, ha I can feel that maybe this one piece of Arion is here. I can feel that, like, sometimes Mother Mary, Mother Mary is a piece of Arion. Uh, and so, um, and Jesus is a piece of Arion. I could go on and on and on and on and on. But anyway, um, when you start working with your energies and you start asking, watch what shows up. It'll blow you away. It'll blow you away and trust what you get. That's the thing is they'll show you, they'll give you the information and you will dilute it and kill it instantly, instantly. I know because I did it all. I did it all. I did it all. I've done it all in this lifetime. I've lived like billions of lifetimes in this lifetime. Literally. Literally. I've done it all. I've done it all. So, well, not all. But, yeah, all. In my mind, I have. In my mind, I have. And we've all done it all in our mind. In our mind, in our mind, we have killed somebody and murdered somebody in our own mind. Even if it was our own self. So, if you don't think you haven't done it, you have. So, anyway, um... Um, I have just allowed to trust the process and in trusting this process, it has made my awareness go from a place of working from the memory to working from the knowing. So I don't work from the brain anymore. I work from the, the heart. My mind doesn't race anymore. I don't have a racing mind. Now, if I have something going on, like there was a couple weeks back, that something, I just kept racing and kept racing. And it was showing me that I was tuning into my subconscious, which is the lower vibration of our uh, consciousness. And um, I was tuning into that. And to release that, send love to that and let it go. Because it was showing me how I had, um, what, uh, consciousness I was tuning into. So yeah, pay attention to your frequencies. Um, wow. I want to bring forward real fast. Oh, uh, wow. They're clearing me. And this is how it works. Wow. 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 But one of the biggest things that I have transformed me is setting my attentions before I go to sleep or as I wake. When you set your intentions, as your day is set forward, as soon as you wake your eyes, it will change your life. And all you have to do is, and you can add your own words, but let this be the best day ever. And let me feel what I need to feel and be as connected as I can be at let my full potential radiate to out today and let me be connected to all and let this be an amazing day i am with the flow whatever you use as soon as you wake 
be it at your highest potential, at your most sacred space, and be glad for this is a new day. And as you sleep, I go to sleep, I will rest well, wake up energized, and be at my full potential as I wake. You are setting your intentions. When you set your intentions, that is one of the biggest things that has changed my life. Completely changed my life. And it's made me to fully trust because I see the signs. I always see the signs. They always show me. They show me numbers. They show me a, 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 in a song, in anything, in a Facebook message, in something that somebody says show me in nature, they show me in so many, in the clouds, in the rain, they show me in so many different ways that they're here. So when you're tuned into that, watch what happens because they will show you. Because it, they like celebrate on that side. They're like, yeah, they're here, they're waiting. Yeah, because once you tune in, you have to use it like a muscle. You have to keep doing it. And it, it's going to change. It has to because energetically, we are, we are energetic beings. So we have to change. Because we are always evolving. So you're going to always be the highest version of you. So who I was yesterday is not the version I was today. No, because I'm the highest version I am of this physical life today at this very moment. Right? Do that. Run at your highest potential. You will change your life. You are worthy of that. You are worthy of that. Okay. Now is there any... I can't think of any other question. Um... I was like, dang, I had them all. I should have written them down. But anyway, I was like, I got this. Um, wow. Any other questions? Wow. I don't feel that there's any other questions at this time. I feel a complete state of completing. If you guys want to know how I woke up, I woke up through sun gazing. You guys can look up sun gazing. I was at the lowest point of my life. Um, I was in a death because I was more in, in the hospital than I was out. Um, so I was in a death place and I asked God, show me a different way. And they did. They showed me sun gazing that very day. So check it out. It works. I still do it to this day. It's amazing. I send love to all of you. I hope I asked your questions. If you have any other questions about the collective or about Ariane, I would love to answer them. So, I send love to all of you. Subscribe to my channel if you want a reading or a healing, email me. Also, too, I wanted, that's what I was going to talk about, about the readings and the healings. Somebody asked me, what is the difference between a reading and a healing? The difference between a reading and a healing is, a healing is your angels, your guides, your higher self, your masters, beloved ones, come forward and they want to bring you forward a message. So, that's a reading. So a healing, which I'll be accurate in all readings, you still receive a healing in the back in the background. In a healing, a healing is a particular event that you want to work on that is going on in your energetic field. So that's the difference between a reading and a healing. But it is not limited to that because I take it far beyond and circulate all the way around to its full potential. So I don't limit it to those things. So. It will start out as that, but it will circle all the way back around to where it needs to be. I still love. May you all, all be blessed.